Okay, so behind me is my friend's 2013 Ford Police Interceptor sedan. And I'm gonna tell you something about it today that's gonna blow your mind. Okay, so I made a previous video about this car talking about signs that you can tell whether it's a cop car driving behind you, driving next to you, driving in front of you. Because if you look at this car right now, you would think, man, that's a cop car. Right off the bat, you would be like, that's a cop car. I'm gonna tell you some things about this car, why it's not a cop car or why it would be a cop car. Now, in my previous video, I talked about things like the push bar. I talked about things like the wheels. I talked about things like the exhaust, but there are a few things that you guys told me about this car that I didn't even realize makes it a cop car. So in the previous video, we talked about the keyhole being on the trunk. Regular Tarses don't have that. We talked about the police interceptor badging, but a lot of you guys commented that regular Tarses don't have taillights like this. And in fact, I went and did my research. Regular Tarses have it where this piece right here actually extends all the way out to here. The cop car versions don't have that. As you can see, it's just straight red all the way down. That's a way if you're driving behind a police interceptor, you can tell it's a police interceptor. What really throws you off about this car is the fact that this car came with all the antennas. Antenna, antenna. So if you're driving behind this car, you would think it's a cop car. Now, one of the biggest things that people told me about cop cars is tags. Now, in fact, I do know that police cars have special tags, AKA license plates, so you can tell they are a police car. In New York City, They'll have a number in California, it'll say exempt. In other states, there's orange tags, all kinds of different tags that tell you this would be a cop car. Here's the problem. <laughs> Here in New Jersey, police cars have two tags. They have MG, which stands for municipal government, and they have SP, which stands for state police. My friend got his tags for motor vehicle, and as you can see, they put an MG in his tag, even though it's not a municipal government, you can see it doesn't say municipal down the bottom. But if someone were driving behind this car and you know that a local municipal government police car has an MG on their tag, automatically you would think, holy shit, that might be a cop car. That's pretty funny that Motor Vehicle actually did that to this car because I'm sure people probably now think it's a cop car. So in this case, that doesn't really work. Another thing you guys pointed out in the previous video that I talked about was the bumper. Front bumper on this car, as you can see, does not have fog lights. So if you see a Taurus coming up behind you that looks like a cop car, doesn't have fog lights, might be a cop car. There's a 50-50 there's a chance it might be a cop car because most Taurus has come equipped with fog lights. And while editing my video, doing some research, I did realize that even the Tauruses that don't come with fog lights still have a completely different front bumper than the police interceptor sedan. So that's something to look for in your rearview mirror. If you see this front bumper on a Taurus, it's most likely not a cop car. If you see the front bumper that my friend's car has, it's most likely a police officer. Now, another telltale sign it would be a cop car, obviously, is the spotlight. If you see a car with a spotlight, you might think it's a cop car. There's a chance it's probably not a cop car, but it could be a cop car, so be careful. Now, this is for the interceptor utility. That doesn't apply to this car, but most interceptor utilities that you see on the road do not have roof racks. Now, that's not every single one. Some of them do, but for the majority of police interceptor utilities, aka the Explorer, they don't have roof racks. So if you see a utility that you think probably is a cop car coming up behind you, you can see, see if it has roof racks. If it doesn't, slow down, man, because you're about to get pulled over. Because most explorers that come off the assembly line have roof racks, unless you buy the base of the base model, and we all know most dealerships and most people don't, don't buy the base of the base model. Now, this one is a little bit harder to find out if you're driving on the road. It might not be that obvious, but if this is a police interceptor sedan, as you can see right here, there used to be a light right there. And if you look inside, you can actually see the wiring. Yeah, see the wiring. But most police interceptor sedans will have lights all over the body. If you look inside here, there's an old light right there. If you look right here, lights were bolted right there at one point. You go to the back. There's a light right there that's not factory. That's the factory tail light. That's nothing right there. In here, there's another one. The reverse light's in here, but also there's a bulb right there if you look. So police interceptor sedans have lights built in all over that are not factory. They don't belong there. They put them in there when they manufacture these cars. After they build them at the factory, they ship them out. They go to a special company that manufactures all the police equipment. I'll actually show you something really cool in the trunk right here. So if you actually go into the trunk of this car and you peel these back right here, You can see in this corner right here is the, I don't know what this panel is, but that's where all the wires are for all the lights. You can see they cut the, the ground and the hot wire, but this was some kind of a switch panel where all the 
different plugs plugged in right here for all the lights in the back and I don't know wherever else. So let me know in the comment section down below if you know any other ways that you can spot whether or not a car on the road is a police interceptor or not. I've named all the ones I know. I know a lot of comments came in that told me things I didn't know, which was very interesting. So if you know anything else, let me know that in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at ClawBusNJ, hit subscribe. We're trying to hit 1 million subscribers in this channel this year. I need that gold play button. So if you guys could hit subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Smash a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see more about this car. I'll make as many videos as you guys want of this police interceptor. But as always, I'm ClawBoss. <laughs> as, al <laughs> as always, I'm Clawboss. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.